Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to, I think it's part two of all the move changes and like so many things that have happened. I am not gonna keep you here for a minute while I explain what's happening. There's just a few things I have to say is that I'm also gonna be going over some moves that Jamie has confirmed are gonna be happening, possibly, and then some items that we have coming in the future. But yeah, without further ado, let us get straight into it. Another quick thing before we get all into it, this, all of the stuff that I did was written by my friend Floof, who I've been doing double bottles with in the background footage. And it was the same thing with the last video. So all credit goes to her for funneling me with this information. So hopping straight into it, I just want to immediately talk about this. We're going to be having, so before I had like part one of all the stats and stuff and Jimmy said he was going to do another one soon, but he did it the very next day. So I have this one to give all of the information possible and I will also have a timestamp right now if you want to just go immediately to all of the changes. And I mean literally all of them. I will not be mentioning any of the changes I mentioned before, but I will be talking about some ones now. Anyway, here we are going to have the cows, Trumbull and Mutum. Trumble is now going to have 79 energy, 52 range attack, 68 range defense. Mutune will have 79 energy, 52 melee attack, and 79 melee defense. So a little buffs there. Nice buffs. And Garbantis. Oh boy. 55 health, 97 melee attack, 74 range defense. Oh, nothing good about it was buffed. Oh, you look at melee defense buffed by 20. So Garbantis now has... 115 melee defense. Oh no. <laughs> now we have Stratosaur and Solber Stratosaur. Both Stratosaurs are now going to have 100 base health. And base form of Stratosaur is going to have 49 in melee attack. And Solber Stratosaur will have 66. <clears throat> and Dyborg getting a lot of interesting changes here. We have 78 health, 97 melee attack, 83 melee defense, 93 range attack, and 87 range defense. So not too bad. And then we have Munchwheel getting 94 health, 104 melee attack, and 52 range attack. Gardrone getting 74 health and 73 melee defense. Hunter just getting 63 range attack. I agree, Hunter doesn't really need anything right now. It's great. <clears throat> Arapaigo getting 84 melee defense, 84 range defense, and 104 range attack. Ooh. Now we have Skellic getting 55 range attack. And 73 range defense. Joltooth getting 56 range attack. Infernix getting 84 health, 95 energy, 85 melee defense, and 117 range defense. Sheesh. Okay. Infernix stonks, huh? And now Dorago getting 86 energy, 86 melee attack, and 90 range attack. Okay, so dipping more into the range side of Dorago, which I'm completely fine with that. And then Blowtox getting 109 melee attack. Okay. A Bar Blast getting 88 energy, 72 melee attack, 107 melee defense, and 88 range defense. Garlash, 84 melee defense, 63 range attack. Deladrix getting 85 energy, 104, 14 melee attack, 58 melee defense, and 67 range defense. Hoganosh getting some huge buffs here. 84 health, 90 melee defense, 57 range attack, and 109 range defense. Okay, so we just got rid of Pyrolin. Now we have Hoganosh. I eat, buddy. And now we have Mocho, 72 into, into melee attack. So now it just has 17, 72 melee attack. So Mocho, nothing for Mocho. Spreezy, we have 72 health, 46 melee attack, 103 melee defense, 94 range attack. It, eh. It still needs to get batting ram or something. Whipple Drift, 72 health, 115 melee defense, and 110 range attack. Okay, Whipple Drift buffs. Not too bad. Servolin just getting 92 health. Rip. Jamie has a grudge against Servolin. Wendelin getting 60 melee defense and 98 range attack. Okay, so dipping more into the range side. Kirolin just getting 63 range defense. Zephylin getting 61 melee attack and 67 melee defense. Venelin getting 61 melee attack and 67 melee defense. Oh, they're just matching. Zephylin and Venelin are matching. Okay. Uh, Wrestlin getting 120 melee attack and 37 range attack. Okay, so Wrestlin actually got nerfed here to 120. 
I mean, I guess it hits ridiculously hard, and Ace is pretty much the carry ability, so. <clears throat> Buzzalin getting 45 range attack. Tundralin, 71 range attack. Ooh, and Pyralin getting 104 health, 86 energy, and 54 me melee attack. Okay, so Pyralin getting a little bit of its health back. I do think the game is going in the right direction, not giving all of its health back and just kind of keeping it in a in this area. I think that's good. Hydrolin getting 59 melee defense. That's it with the Varis. Oh man, poor, poor, poor Hydrolin. But yeah, and then here we're going to have Oxidrake with 63 range attack. Wintrix with 71 health and a 63 melee attack. Snagoop with 68 melee attack, 77 melee defense, and 94 range defense. Sukami, okay, with 95 energy, 52 melee attack, and 116 range attack. I'm just saying, once Sukami gets Sea Song, oh buddy, it's gonna be so fun. Then you have Banfino with 85, 80, 58 melee attack, 97 melee defense, 103 range attack, and 71 range defense. I don't know about Banfino. I mean, I got cooked by like a very nimble one a little bit ago. And we have 39 range attack Cannabo. Yeah, Cannabo not getting anything makes sense. It's eh, and doesn't, I don't know. And now we have Samarine, 82 melee defense, 58 range attack, and 64 range defense. <clears throat> getting a little bit of a bulk buff. Lamello, 100 health, 106 melee defense, 62 range attack, and 96 range defense. Okay, I don't know if I said 106 melee defense, it's melee, it's 106, and range defense is 96. Incredibly fat Mon, though. Very, very fat. Jalusa getting 58 melee, melee attack and 100 range defense. Teashinu getting 48 range attack. Lyricat getting 69 melee attack, 62 melee defense, 107 range attack, and it's 64 range defense. Okay, so getting some buffs on Lyricat's range attack. Cleone getting a 44 melee attack. Sinogre, 55 melee attack. Fiskarna, 79 health and 43 melee attack. Baneki, 77 health, 73 melee attack, 72 melee defense, and 102 range attack. Okay, nice for Baneki. Halvantic, 51 range attack. Imperior, 93 melee attack, 62 melee defense, 57 range defense. Barbadger, 78 me no, sorry, one second. 78 health, 106 melee defense. Dang, really? 57 range attack and 72 range defense. Charonix getting 68 melee attack. No buffs for Charonix. Poor Charonix, dude. 117 melee attack on Billa Forge. 117 uh, melee and range attack on Billa Forge. Okay. <clears throat> and then 71 range defense on Billa Forge. Weaselin, 71 melee defense, 56 range attack, and 66 range defense. Boreals, 86 melee attack, and 81 range defense. Kraptana, 39 attack, or 39 range attack. Sorry if I made people's hearts stop. Teradescent, 45 range attack. I don't see Teradescent that often, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda sad. <clears throat> now Pronsu, 54 melee attack, 82 range defense, 72 82 melee defense, 72 range defense. Shrimp Post, 102 melee defense, 54 range attack, and 72 range defense. Dokomori getting 60 range attack. Mirace getting 72 melee defense. Ooh, okay. Chienta getting 73 range attack. Parasol, 64 range attack. Byworn getting a bulk buff. Both of its defense is going to 97. Lantorch getting 62 melee defense and 71 range defense. And then Rancidor, 49 melee attack and 59 melee defense. And that is actually going to wrap up all of that stuff and we are now going to get right into some other new stuff lumians losing barter lumians losing bait and some other confirmed moves and um stuff in the future now we have lumians losing barter is going to be elephage and phage knot cephalops the fiskarna line swirl the mocho line metatode line and the skellic line okay and then list of Lumians losing bait is going to be Gargolem, the Phage Knot line, Ika, like Ikazune, Fiskarna line, Teashinu line, Oxidrake line, Joltooth line, Festifer line, including Lashent, Yursnack line, 
Um, <clears throat> Kabunga and Chartiki, and Wiki Wiki will keep it, and the Steer Knight line. And yeah, I'll, I'll put up both those up on screen. And yeah, then we have other changes mentioned by Jamie. This is a lot here. Our Saros will be get, will be gaining Flare Blitz at the same time Burning Rage and Chilling Passion are nerfed. And if you don't know what Flare Blitz is, it is a 120 base power fire move. So that is going to be very good for our Saros. Cephalops will be losing Aqua Jaws for Wave Wrecker. Metronet may be losing Pyrokinesis, or Pyrokinesis may be nerfed. Nevermare may receive a stronger spirit slashing move for its signature. Gargolem will be losing Empathize and potentially Driving Force. And Immunize was considered to be changed or removed entirely from Gargolem. <clears throat> Hypnotize and Snore Spores will be changed to work like Yawn from Pokemon. Someday, Terrafly will be getting Drudge. And then here's a big part. Teclipse will be getting the level up moves of Luxor and Umbrat at the same levels. The Scorb parts will now work as PvP items for the entire Scorb evolutionary line. And Gardrone will eventually gain access to Elemental Burst as well as a secondary ability. And then there were some also some other few things that some people already know about, but I guess I can go over now. Is going to be some items that have been added. We have like the plant boot, healing plant types for one tenth of their health at the end of each turn, but hurts all non-plant type Lumians for one sixteenth of their health. Dry Ice inflicts the holder with a free status ailment. Cursed Claw giving you the poison the poison status. Green Tea uh, cures the holder status ailment and then it is consumed. And then we have Energy Drink. When we fall below a 25% energy, restore 50% of your at max energy and then it is consumed. Recoil Bracelet. All of the holder's moves are powered up by 30%. If the user loses one tenth of their health each time it attacks. So Life Orb. Then we have Power Amulet. At 100% energy, you have a 30% damage boost. 90% is 25. 80% is a 20 damage boost. 70 is a 15. This is all stuff that you know. Um, then we have Umbrella Hat. Makes the holder ignore all ongoing weather effects. Charm prevents the holder from being manipulated. So stuff like Provoke and uh, Tease. <clears throat> and then you have Clear clear Plushy. Restores the, the holder's lowered stats and then consume. Okay, so White Herb. Specialty gloves and specialty goggles being a melee attack and range attack respectively. The gloves being melee, the goggles being range attack. And then we have something to increase the critical hit ratio. And then we have increased uh, accuracy of all of your moves by 10%. Increase the user's melee defense stat by 50% becomes unable to use support moves. And same one for range defense. So assault vest for melee and ranged. And then we have ex extend heavy, so we have weather extending items. And then we have abilities, which are going to be when the holder, like, when the holder enters the field. Oh no, these are just, uh, when the holder enters the field, summon heavy rain, gusts, dense fog, smoldering heat, thunderstorm for three turns, and you consume it. And then you have an extender on Bane of Haste, Fungus Curse, and your enchantment, and Far Enchantment for something about turns. Something I also wanted to mention is that the all the weather Lumians, like Whipple Drift, Deladrix, they are going to have their wet, getting their weather abilities, but the entire line will have access to them. So drop of youth weather setting Lumians are possible. And then we have a bunch of like Scorb stuff, which is doesn't really matter because everyone knows about like the Scorb stuff. And yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. I think right now I'm going to go through this entire list real quick for everyone to see. And one moment though, while I go pull it up. Alrighty. Hello to everyone that has skipped over. This is what we're going to be looking at here. I'm just going to slowly scroll down so you guys can see everything and pause whenever you want to look at something. But yeah. It's a long way. Yeah, everything in the game was reworked. Or gotten a buff. I can't really fit this all into one screenshot. So I think this is the best thing that I can do. And. Boom. There we go. And yeah. Again. Oh, there's actually some more things here. And yeah, Joltooth might lose Earthquake. Gardrone will eventually get Elemental Burst. As well as Levitate. Charonix will lose Prismatic, Lightspeed Rain, potentially at a later date, Spite. I don't really think Spite needs to be removed. 
Weather setting abilities will ignore fog's effect for balancing reasons. Okay, that's good. Flare will most likely be decreasing in 60 power. So, yeah, rip land torch only 120 now. It sucks. Every weather every weather evolutionary lines first stage will have access to final evolution will have access to the weather setting abilities. So stuff like Bezel do, uh, Hydrini will all have access to their weather setting abilities. But yeah, that is pretty much everything here that I talked about. I can go over it again really quick if everyone just wants to look at it. I know people are going to be pausing during this time, but yeah, these are all of the changes that have been done. I guess there's also the 500 BST changes, which is uh. Gobademic getting 35 and 93. Uh, Rise to Ghoul getting 35. Silver Cycle getting 44. Swirl just getting 65 in like every stat it has besides speed. Uh, Harvest Sect getting 57 range attack. Sherbot getting gutted again. Hollow Bunch, it's it's already pretty good. So but, I don't think yeah. it's fine. With all that being said, hopefully everyone enjoyed. I'm glad this one was a lot shorter because they will get through it a lot quicker. And I will see everyone in the next video. Bye bye.